What's good? What's good? All right, welcome to Hood Mona Lisa. Hopefully, you got your tea, your coffee, your soda, whatever kind of beverage you like of your choice, a spit, whatever. All right, you're on Hood View, Hood Conversations, having a hood conversation with Hood Mona Lisa. All right, I want to take the time out to say thank you, God, thank you, angels, and thank you, ancestors. We have topics, titles, thunders, and truth. All right, the title says, Had to Make Sure I Wanted to Be Sure. All right, a John George Jr. Betty Sinclair storyline, okay? So let's see. I feel like something needed to come out other than the previous read, which was the folk tale reading or whatever, which was a little bit of baffling or whatever. Um, I feel like shit, it was like straightforward as the readings do, you know, because God already, always takes over. Excuse me. God already invents it. But anyways, let's get started. John George, Betty Sinclair, John George Jr., Betty Sinclair. What's going on with that situation? Yo ass got caught. I talk to the devil when I know. I asked for evil to come, so now we are friends. Step on your throne. Step aside. You did the work. Now step on your throne. You're with the shit. Show it. No, you fucked me to keep me around. The kids you use. What's your point? I keep fucking her to see my kids. You're safe. What's yours will always be. Get ready. Love you, God. Coming to see what vibe you're on so I can take energy from you. You took over, took control. The age of greatness. I play little plots to get what I want. Say things I don't really mean, bluff asking you. Date night. Can I take you somewhere fancy? Let's get out together. Master your shit, baby. Fuck them. You are the one. I lick it. Or I licked it, so it's mine. <laughs> you let me have it, so now you're mine. I can't. I won't let go that easy. Libra man. Expert communicator, romantic, charismatic, glad, socially confident, charming, pleasure party. Good with hands, creative, art, comfort, dependable, stable, trustworthy, affectionate. Toy. I can't choose between two things. I want this. No, wait, I want that. Trying to please everyone else. What do I want? I'm lost. All right. So remember, we're talking about this John George Betty Sinclair situation. Okay. So it's two masculines that's sitting here. So I want to see a little bit more about this. You know what I'm saying? Because it sounded like um, a karmic situation. You know, it sounded like an overseer. It sounded like Sinclair had got involved with somebody, which is John George Jr. And John George Jr. or whatever was already in a relationship with Betty, of course. But Betty is messing around with somebody else. Or maybe Sinclair is messing or found somebody new. Let's see. Let's dive deep. I don't think that Sinclair, because Sinclair is supposed to be the divine feminine. And Betty is supposed to be more of the karmic energy. But, you know, choose which side is what. But that's what I feel, you know, so I'm not sure. This motherfucker's stupid. They fuck to the top, then drop. Got divine male or female. You know what I'm saying? The world will know you. What you are, the world will want, need, will see. Magic will not form against thee. All right, so boom. So she called Divine Feminine went on here and came out. You see what I'm saying? Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, stand up. All right, anyways. 
uh, it's two masculines out here, but I feel like they're karmic energy off top. You know what I'm saying? They could be, you know what I'm saying, divine, but we're going to see. We got Leo woman, significant. The light flicker, too, y'all. I am a woman or a man that would do whatever that would keep a man or woman. I'm lame. This ain't no karmic dick show. Ain't no karmic pussy. This that stay clean. And see, the light is just flicker. Like, what the hell? Stop that. All right, we one dick, one pussy over here. I mean, light just flicker. No battle, no need. It will be as it will be. I wanted to see so I could see up in here. Tricks and Ronnie. So the baby they don't want you to see. You know what I'm saying? The whole situation. Trick and Ronnie, you tricks and Ronnie, you know, that's the player club or whatever. Messing with your head is my best go-to. Someone that's close that works that you do. Be hating gas and trying to get something out of you, trying to break you, diamond. Where's Ebony? Using what I think you might like. It might work out for me. I have a plan. So, they don't talk about that like shit with all this significance or whatever. It's like they, you know, they don't want me talking about it. I try to be cool about it. I will tell you the truth. I rebuke they motherfucking ass. Not a good person. I rebuke they motherfucking ass. Fuck you. You know this person. You know this person. Mm -hmm. I love how you face the truth. You speak the truth, even when it may be hard to do. I love you for that. And I rebuke your motherfucking ass too. Shit, fuck that. When you come, they can't be fake, so they try to keep you away. Rebuke they motherfucking asses. Shit, fuck them. I want to be with them, not you. Well, bitch, you ain't. You going with the devil. You sell your soul to the devil, you going to the devil. Fuck that shit. You do evil, you get evil. You already done sit here and said you can't choose between two things, and then you like to buy your relationships and shit. You going to hell. Fuck that. I, I can't stand when people sit here and try to butter up that shit. We as adults here. You do evil shit, you going to get evil shit. The hell? How you going to sit here and tell yourself, I do evil and then I get good? Hell, but no, no, no. You don't know good. You know evil, so that's what you going to get. You going to get what you know. And what you know is bad. You are your true love. I hate you, bitch, when you hate yourself. Because I ain't got nothing to do with that. All right. When you come, they can't be fake. So they try to keep you away. Well, you ain't keeping shit because God orders my steps. I love how you face the truth. You speak the truth even when it may be hard to do. I love you for that. So it's the overall energy. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, with this John Jacob Jr. Betty Sinclair energy, the karmic energy, you want to bang against the you know, divine energy, and then there's two negative vibe energies. I don't know. I ain't tapped in to see about this man energy or whatever, as I've been just reading the flashes or whatever, but shoot, it done dived in deep from here. But let's see. Then I cut the deck. I get the traditional deck. I see the hangman. I wake into a situation that the emperor is right here. So it could be like a narc, you know what I'm saying? A false masculine or some shit, whatever. Somebody that looks at themselves like a king, but you ain't no king because you ain't moving like no king. You move and you act like a pe peasant behind the closed doors. People think that you can hide dirty, dark things and that don't make you a peasant. You're a peasant. You don't treat your body with care, so you're a peasant. We got the Ten of Pentacles and the Three of Swords here, and along with the Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck, Six, Seven, Eight, Nine, Nine of Swords, worried about their finances, their security, their legacy. Two cards fall on the ground. Three of cups and the three of wands in reverse. No celebration. They're going straight to fucking hell. Like, I'm not about to sit here and sugarcoat it for you. Nine of wands or whatever, upset about it. And it's the truth right here with the ace of swords. They're upset about it. The ace of swords and the three of swords, uh, four of swords. They thought they could come up with a plan while you in the back room resting with God where they ain't just getting the real truth. Getting the thorough truth. Truth come out again. King of Wands show itself. The real vision. Straight up out the bucket. And they want to play with you. Queen of Cups comes out. Straight up out the bucket. Strength. They want to play with your monster, but they're not ready for your monster. Temperance. Balance. 
when this dragon roars and throws his fire, her fire. Hermit and then the Nine of Wands. They sitting in Hermit mad, pissed off. Four Pentacles trying to hold on, feel like they're a fool for trying to hold on. Or they thought they could hold on to a star, or they had hopes into destroying you or taking you down. Yeah, with the strength card. Seven of Wands in the world. You tax that ass, whoop that ass. Whoop that trick. Whoop a whoop that trick. Get a whoop that trick. But anyways, you did. Seven of Wands in the world. You know what I'm saying? Complete that cycle. You did it, that shit. Nipped it in the bud. Six of Cups and the Four of Cups or whatever. Nostalgia memories or whatever. You just put them in their place. You know what I'm saying? They never gave out good, so why in the fuck can you expect good? I'm just saying, though. How you going to be evil and then want to expect good things to happen to you? That's not how it works. You kick somebody in the shin and you want them to say, I love you. The fuck you lucky I don't take your leg out. That don't make no damn sense. You hurt somebody and you want love back, you don't get no love. And people shouldn't play with people like that to say, okay, you can work your way through. You can work through it when you become your own babysitter and, and quit trying to make the next motherfucker babysit you, Cleetta's Cleetta. This is not a daycare. Class is in session, I guess, but this is not a daycare. We have the Ten of Cups with the Emperor and the Five of uh, Wands. It's like competition and they're competing in their household. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm getting. Like, they never got the love from their Mimi. The Mimi left or their father left or whoever the fuck left. And they feel like they got to take that out on somebody else. No, you need to work through that, not hurt people. And then expect love out of that when you're not doing it the right way. The Knight of Cups and then the Page of Swords is like communicating this charmer. You know what I'm saying? Like you want to brush things off as being being the type of person that's loving and kind and you really sour on the inside. You really mean. You're only doing it to try to get people's likes or time or energy or whatever. You're not just trying to have a good time and vibe. You know? God gave it to you so and gave you a little bit of ever. I mean, ever. Gave you a little bit of more. I don't know why I can't want to say ever, ever, ever. Gave you a little bit more of ever in. So why not share it? Gave you a little bit of ever. The Ten of Pentacles came out too. Throw that out there. God gave you a little bit of ever. So why not shake? Why not share it? I don't know why I'm baffled. It gave you a little bit of ever. Ooh. Say that. Gave you a little bit of Eva. I didn't know it was a card down here, too. You have the Three of Swords, and then God is down here. Now, with the Three of Swords, when I cut the deck, and then the Death card. Gave you a little bit more of Eva, as in everlasting, as in not being bitter, as in, you know what I'm saying, that pain, that trials and tribulations, or whatever. You can share your story and share it with somebody else, and they can get through it. Go to daddy about what they need and travel and get out of hard, bad situations and see these motherfucking North vampires for who the fuck they are and go off of their intuition and listen to how God is trying to tell them through them. Because I'm just getting the keyster. I'm just giving you the key and then I'm walking you to the door, but I'm not walking in the door with you. You walking by yourself. I mean, but you're not by yourself, though. With God, you're always winning. So keep winning. So why not win? Serve. All right, so we got the death card here that came out again, crossing the ace of wands and then the ten of pentacles. Basically, back to the fact of, like I said, your cup runneth over, your everlasting. God gives you everlasting. So you share it. Queen of wands and the will of fortune, that confidence, believing in yourself, knowing that you were uniquely made, genuinely, too. Very carefully. And fuck this motherfucker. You see how this reading just went off? 
You know what I'm saying? It's John George Jr., Betty Sinclair, and it's about to talk about that drama and all this extra shit with these marks and shit. And it went completely off of that shit and just centered itself to the Sinclair energy, the divine energy. Three of Cups. You know what I'm saying? Face down came out in the Eight of Cups. Celebration and walking away from that bullshit. The, the whole reading went, you know what I'm saying, away from that. Told you what the motherfucker was doing and what they're trying to do and what ain't gonna happen and what they gonna get their payout for. Plus what you done got too, because you pay, you know, you sold good seed, Pavi. All right, so then the eight, nine, ten, eleven, that's the page of cups talking about this damn fishy ass cup. They might have dressed up like they was going to school, but they didn't fucking participate. They weren't on the roster. You were. So you get to graduate. The Eight of Cups is out here again. The King of Cups is showing itself. And then the Ten of Wands is showing itself. So you got your diploma. They did not, so to speak. They feel with burdens and got to repeat the grade again. This is not go down a grade. I don't know. Ain't my business. The Queen of Swords and the Four of Swords as well. Because the one that wanted to sit there and ditch and shit and smoke cigarettes and fuck all the boys or whatever. That's what she was doing. And her ass, she ain't going to get to graduate neither. The divine masculine, well, the negative masculine or whatever, his ass, he ain't going to graduate neither because his ass was playing games and wasn't doing his homework and was being manipulative. Was playing games with people. So neither one of those negative, the uh, John George Jr. repeating another grade. Betty, repeating another grade. They flunked. Emperor is showing itself. Well, I feel like, you know, it fell in between my legs. You see what I'm saying? And I had my legs crossed or whatever. I feel like that was a form of the dean. You see what I'm saying? God is dean. Is the principal. You see what I'm saying? The overseer. And I feel like the principal said, yes, they got to repeat the grade. The emperor coming out like that. Judgment showing itself on top of the Ten of Pentacles. It fell out with the death card and the four wands. You know, that's a house, a home, a school, a, you know, a college. Could be. Yeah, they got to repeat the grade. The devil is at the bottom of the deck. Toxicity. Four Pentacles. Hut two, hut, hut three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. <laughs> I don't know, y'all. I'm goofy. But I heard that, though. If the Eight of Swords comes out sideways or whatever, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But this could be freedom for you graduating, and this could be bound for them. Six of Cups, Page of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. Yeah, this could be, like I said, you graduate, they do not, you know, and it's okay. You know what I'm saying? Get your diploma and move on. They sold what they sold. You cannot sow bad seeds expecting for you to get fruit. Okay, what the hell? All right, you guys. Three wands, write the vision. And temperance in reverse. You know what I'm saying? Imbalanced situation. They try to cheat and skip class and all of that. All right, you guys. I hope this is helpful to you guys. Uh, I'm sending you peace and love. I'm out.